Hi guys, many of you might have seen the video in which I modified this microwave transformer by removing its high voltage secondary and replacing it with this thick wire so that I can get around 12 volts DC supply for charging our 12 volts batteries and running our 12 volts DC motors. Now in my previous video, I shared an issue with you on this subject that these transformers heat a lot. And uh, the reason behind that is even under no load condition, they take in huge amount of current, which can be as high as 3 amperes. Now, the voltage at which this coil, the primary winding is fed is 240 or 220 volts. Let's take 220 and let's take uh, the input amps to the primary winding as 3 amperes. Then under no loading condition, it is taking around 660 watts, which is 220 into 3 amps, making it 660 watts under no load condition. So I will just show it to you. Yeah, now I have to turn on the input supply from the socket. So guys, this is the clamp meter that I will use to measure uh, the input amps that this transformer is consuming at no load. So moving the pointer towards 200 amps. Okay. Okay, so the transformer has started. Now let's measure the amps. Yeah, it is around 2.6, 2.5 amps. Now guys, when these transformers are used in microwaves, then they are not used for longer durations. They are used for just a few minutes for heating or cooking something, but not that much. But if we are going to modify it and then use it as a battery charger or as a power supply for DC motors, obviously we are going to use it for much longer period than when it is used in a microwave. So what I can understand from this is that these transformers are not designed to be used for longer durations. Otherwise, their primary will burn of course. It will burn because it heats up a lot even on no load condition. Imagine what will happen when it is loaded. Now guys, in my last video, some of you asked me to measure the amps of the secondary winding when I connected this starter motor to the secondary. Okay, uh, so I will also show this in this video. So uh, since I'm going to do that for just a few seconds, so I will use just one rectifier. I'm not going to go through the wiring of the rectifiers in parallel again. Yeah, and don't worry about uh, the high amperes that is going to damage uh, the rectifier because that is uh, applicable only when the rectifiers are connected to that high amount of current for longer durations. Although it is only 35 amps rectifier, it can pass much higher current through it for a short span of time. So I will show both the cases here. Okay. Okay, go. Now it got stuck. Now let's turn off the supply. Now you noticed that uh, the multimeter was drawing around 35 amps at the starting and 20 in the running condition. Although in my previous video, I told you that this starter motor draws current as high as 133.33 amps for starting because it creates short circuit. So the reason behind that fact why this clamp meter did not reflect 133.33 amps or more during starting and then reduce it to 35 amps that is because that high current shoot occurs for a microsecond for a very less time which this multimeter cannot measure it can only be calculated from the power rating or from the specification details of this type of motor or also from very sensitive meters so guys the running amps for this starter motor were 20 and remember guys that those amperes were when this motor was under no load condition like uh, the shaft was not being stopped by some kind of load it was free to run 
so there was no load current which was being consumed by this motor imagine when it is going to start your bike and it is going to be heavily loaded then obviously the current is going to be very high maybe as high as uh, around 60 to 80 amperes so that's the fact about the starter motors during the running the starting and the continuous operation so at present i'm finding out a way to use these transformers continuously without damaging them since these are easily available everywhere okay so guys that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you